just a bit over the 4,300 pound mark, the very popular no slide little couples camp in 212 QB Jayco here at Haylet RV. This one fills a very cool, smart role among our lineup here at Haylet's. It gives us a great floor plan for a single RVer or potentially a couples camper. It has some decent living space for a small RV with some really nice window coverage. Being a J-Flight, that means it is a member of the number one selling series of travel trailers since 2005 and counting. There's a lot of little best-in-class features that go into these two that really make me appreciate them. When I camp, I tend to camp in a J-Flight myself, so really not asking you to do anything I haven't done myself or trusted my own money into. I just tend to have a, a bunk model. But the carpetless nature of this one, the taller ceiling, the best-in-class warranty and tires, there's a bunch of really cool, smart features that make this one such a winner. Now, just to give you a little beat of reference, I'm standing in the bedroom right now because it kind of drives home the point that although this model has no specific walls segregating everything, the fact that the way the kitchen and the bathroom sort of form this hallway in a way before you get back to the living room really gives this floor plan a really good sense of like separation and definition that a lot of no slide campers often struggle to find. Now there's different versions of this layout out there from different manufacturers. Some will do a giant U dinette like the Cherokee 20RDSE that you see at Halet RV. Uh, that's a model that you know we also like to keep in stock right next to this one. And then Jayco does this thing with some split seating. So you can still seat four people at this full, you know, two bench dinette that can still fold down into a sleeper. But they're also giving us kind of a little more social engagement seating area that can also fold down into a sleeper. And here's a look at those two things in action. But what's also kind of cool is like you saw, that sofa, if you are entertainment focused, gives us a better view up here of where the entertainment center would or could be. Another neat little um, J-Flight thing, they're still including a DVD functionality in their stereo systems that a lot of RVs are not. And Jayco goes ahead and runs HDMI wiring for you so that you don't got to try to fish it through all the cabinetry after the fact. Because that's not fun, that's not easy. And I think fun and easy are two of the reasons that you're looking at a camper like this. You're looking for simple. You're not looking for you know, slides and upkeep and all kinds of other things. Now, every RV has a measure of upkeep. I don't want to give you the impression this is a no upkeep camper. Anybody who ever says, oh, this camper has a 10 year, 12 year, 15 year roof warranty, and then they stop talking, get away from that person. Because what they are telling you is only half the story and it's gonna end you up in some hot water. All of these windows open for airflow. And that's another reason I like the way Jayco has done their version of this. It gives us more window coverage in the RV. So this little RV, doesn't feel little. So if you sit on the sofa like I did just now, you're dead in the center of a very like social seating arrangement right here. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter if it's uh, your significant other, your say grandkids, some guests, some friends, or what if you're just all alone and you don't even care about a TV up in that corner. You just want to kind of sit here. You want to be able to just to look out the window, take in the sights, maybe open the windows and get some fresh airflow. This model is fantastic for stuff like that. It is also completely carpetless, ventless. This is about as easy cleaning as they come. Jayco also tends to do a little different thing with their dining tables whenever it's not mounted in a slide out. It actually recesses into the floor so you don't have an annoying toe kick down there. And if you don't like these pedestals for less than like 40 bucks, folks, you could swap those out for a set of folding legs, which is something I would personally do pretty much given uh, any opportunity. Now you see some outlets down there. You see outlets over here. Those are easily missed and underappreciated factors that Jayco's including in here. Copper ain't cheap, guys. You know, the cost of copper is more than doubled since last year already. And notice how they're also doing things like including storage doors for us on the dinette. Not just, uh, you know, you could still lift the cushions up and get to all that storage if you were so inclined. But you don't have to do that here. Speaking of storage, let's crack it open. Now something else I want to point out as we're flying past all the cabinetry here. A lot of times people get into this specific floor plan after they've looked at other things like that Cherokee that I mentioned to you here at Halitz. And they'll say, I don't know what it is about it. It just feels bigger. 
And that's because it is. It's actually three inches taller on the inside of the RV. And that means we have bigger cabinets. That means we have more headroom. And that in conjunction with those bigger windows, it really does a heck of a job of opening everything up in here. Another great comparison factor for you here on these J-Flights is that this camper has centralized air conditioning. Most builders that I have seen in this class and category do not centralize their air conditioning in a small uh, budget focused camper like this one. But as we get around this camper, what you're going to see is that Jayco still accomplished all the good budget points, but they maintained all the good function points. That is a really, really hard thing for them to do. Now, also, while we're over here, something I want to point out is that is a 12-volt uh, DC compressor fridge. So that's giving us more cold storage while also cooling much, much faster. It is completely travel safe, and it does not need to be completely level to operate at peak efficiency. I'm actually going to kind of reset here in the kitchen and just show you everything closed up once real quick just so that you get to see it in like kind of daytime mode. And the plywood boxing on those uh, kitchen drawers, that's not a small thing. There's a lot of laminated RVs out there that like to use the word luxury, that use particle board drawers with a sticker wrap. And here at Jayco's most basic, what I call smarter class, they're still doing plywood drawer boxing. Uh, similarly, here, you know, a lot of the features I'm showing you, like take a look at this, this easy lift bed with the struts to get you down into the storage more simply. That's boring stuff to talk about. That's not exciting. It's not like I'm like, whoa, boys, look at this. We got one of them easy lift beds over here. That's boring stuff to talk about. But it's also the kind of stuff that a lot of campers in this class do not have. Now, this is a little bit irregular. I like to kind of open this up to show you. Over here, that is actually a dresser, whereas this one over here is hanging storage, so you do still have a little bit of each. Now, it's a small camper, ideally made for weekend use. There's more than enough storage there, although it's built just like the bigger Jayco's. There's nothing that says you couldn't use the crap out of it. Now, that cool black sticker right there. All Jayco travel trailers and fifth wheels are standard roof solar ready, and that is where you could install a charge controller if you were so inclined cross breeze windows on either side of the bed and if you are claustrophobic you are going to like that wide open side stand that you got right there nice and big you know you're not gonna feel like you're all compressed into a little coffin space and, and suffocating up in the corner tv hookups and you see that you do have a privacy curtain right here if you want to close the bedroom area off so like maybe you've got a guest a grandkid or something like that i don't know Sleeping back here, I already showed you these sleeper setups. You can still have a nice little visual break point there where somebody can get up, they can get in here to the bathroom, which actually has a locking door, by the way. Again, a stupid, boring feature, but why doesn't every camper have that? Drives me crazy. <laughs> it seems kind of funny, that's... Sorry, apparently I've really got a thing about that. I didn't realize there's, there's some things coming to the surface here I'll have to boil out with my therapist, but uh, never mind, I digress. <laughs> Toilet paper... Hold around the door seems funny, but when it closes, it goes right to the toilet. It actually makes a lot of sense. Um, now, leg room in here. I'm a tall person, so I always like to kind of give you the best idea I can in terms of space. My legs were past a 90 degree, uh, well, no, they weren't at a 90 degree bend. Long story short, my legs were more in front of me than they were curled back. I don't know how you want to say that. However you want to say that, that's how it was. <laughs> now, up here, they have separated a ceiling vent fan as well as a skylight because there are a lot of campers that kind of combine the two to save a couple bucks and you know what it's fine there's nothing wrong with it but jaco's giving us separate uh skylight separate fans se and a shower surround paneling and a taller ceiling that once again i can fit into so it's a it's a small camper for a jaco but it's still built how can I say this? What I like to call American-sized, if that makes any sense. Super-sized. And as we come outside, one of the first things I want to do is examine this just cavernous front pass-through compartment, because that is something I think J-Flight does better than almost anybody else in this class. First of all, extra-large baggage door there, and the exact same size big baggage door on the other side of the RV, which is a detail item that a lot of brands don't do. They'll either give you a small or no door on the opposite side. Now, sometimes there's a reason for it, but sometimes that reason is just to save a couple bucks. J-Flight is always about function first. Now, 
that best in class warranty right there is no small thing. If you've never had a camper before, it's not a bad idea to get one that gives you the most protection and peace of mind. Interestingly though, Jayco is actually one of the most frequently selected brands by not first time RVers, but second time, third time, fourth time owners. People who have gone out, bought something else, found out what they like and dislike, they come back and go, oh, that Jayco makes a lot of sense. I totally get what they're doing now. They come back here for that first time. They always sound like this, like, oh my God, I like so totally understand it now a little bit better. Like, Rebecca, you have no idea. Wait a minute, no. Stu, I'm sorry, I got the Jayco owners mixed up with the pumpkin spice drinkers. That's, that's my mistake. My mistake. Honest mistake, guys. I'm sure you've done the same thing a hundred times, right? <laughs> anyway, Power Tongue Jack, back to the topic at hand, doing the heavy lifting for us. Now, an SLX J flight that we're looking at has 20 pound tanks, Big Brother has 30s. There's advantages both ways. These are easier to swap, they're lighter weight. The 30s, you swap less often. There you go. J Flight also rides on an integrated A frame. Basically, this is one of the things that helps give them a taller inside without a taller outside. And that is some Bob Vila level craftiness right there. You'll also find we like to enclose the underbellies of our SLX J flights here at Halet RV. It gives it a little bit extra protection, you know, whether it's wind buffeting or debris that gets kicked up on the road so you're not throwing pea stones and who knows, you know, whatever roadkill bones up at your sewer tank. And those tinted windows, they might stop a little bit of light from getting in the camper, but did you feel like it was dark inside the RV when we were in there? Because I didn't, because Jayco puts a really good lighting package in their RVs. But that does keep the nosy neighbors out. It also helps keep the camper cooler. It reduces the greenhouse effect, basically. It also uh, stops your furniture from fading over longer terms of ownership, which is really what Jayco's all about. And a full black flush and outside shower. These are things that a smarter class camper like this one at a lower price point very often do not feature. Like uh, the camper that I bop around in, it does not have an outside shower. So what I do, I get a little Y splitter off the spigot at the campground and it's good enough, but it's only cold water. That connects to the water heater. So when I say something stupid to my wife and she tells me get out and I gotta take a shower in the morning, uh, you know, I got some warm water to do it. That being said, I learned a long time ago, the only thing I need to ever say to my wife is, yes, dear. <laughs> and we've been happily ever after ever since. Goodyear endurance tires best in class. Now, when you get up into fifth wheels, there are some arguments to be made about things like saloon tires that are very, very good. In this class, though, I don't believe there's any argument. 87 mile an hour rated Goodyear Endurance radials, only at 65 PSI, which means you don't need an industrial compressor to fill them up. That's a best in class thing. And you see that galvanized shield up there above the wheel wells. Just like a spare tire, I hope you never need it, but God forbid something bad happens, it's there to protect you. A literal silver lining to an otherwise cloudy day. Another thing that is very often underappreciated on an RV in this class, which is always about price, 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 is the water heater because it's something very few people understand very few people get the value of a better water heater like jaco is using so instead of just gas and maybe auto ignition it's gas and electric and auto ignition and fast recharge which means just shy of 18 gallons of hot water per hour that is pretty darn awesome cherokee does a good job of that too i'll absolutely give them credit that ladder over there and this spare tire Kind of like the underbelly. Those are optional things that you don't always find on here, like the stable steps. That's another optional piece of equipment. So right there are four upgrades that we've applied to this RV that I think almost everybody is going to say, yeah, yeah, we would definitely want to have those. But somebody might try to offer you this RV three, 400 bucks cheaper without those things. It just, you know, folks, it makes a difference. Those are the things that you'll regret not having and you'll be like, man, I really shouldn't have been penny wise and pound foolish on that one right there. I should have done it from the start. And something nobody else in this class is doing is the J Smart safety lighting package. So let's say you flip on your right hand turn signal. All of the lights along the right side of the RV are going to blink along with your signal so that other people have a clue what you're doing on the road. And it is insane how that's not a forced safety requirement in the RV industry. 
You know, they have to do it on semi-tractor trailers, and those are train drivers. People without special licensing endorsements are hauling RVs, and Jayco's made sure that you have the same safety features as those bigger trailers. That's a cool thing. Now, the, uh, it's not a massive camper, but they put the biggest awning on here they really could have. Um, awnings are kind of funny. They come in set sizes, so they really actually couldn't extend it backwards any further, but they did the best they could. And this RV giving us that extra door side window over here, the way that instead of just a U dinette on the back, they did a sofa and two bench dinette. I love this because it gives me, I feel better views of my campsite. Now the power awning does have LED lighting below it. You may have actually seen some people cruising in and out of the camper. The RV, like, like, like this young lady right here. Welcome, you're on candid camera. <laughs> Well, the uh, RV literally just came in from the factory. The tires aren't even cold, which is saying something because it's like 31 degrees outside right now, and we've already got people taking a look at her. Um, these stable steps, by the way, they're quick adjust, and they are fully removable if you want to get them out of the way. And let's see, one last thing. What do I want to leave you with here? How about the Kia like system? So that entry door, deadbolt, and all of the baggage doors, they all operate off the exact same key so that you don't got to walk around with a jingle jangle ring of keys on your hip. Instead, you only need one key. And if you're like me, you better get a backup key because I tend to leave keys in my pants, then put them in the washing machine, and then they show up clinky clanking around and there a couple loads later. But hey, enough about my life. And this one, I think it just really stands out as one of those models that just proves that inexpensive doesn't have to mean built cheap. And, I, and if that is what you're looking for, if you're like, I don't need fancy, I don't need flash, I just need it to be effective. And at the same time, I still think it looks pretty good. <laughs> you know, there's still a lot of fashion to that function right there. This might be the one for you. So if you appreciate the video, if this is the right camper for you, if you just like what you've seen or you appreciate the information that we've provided, hit that uh, subscribe button up there click the like button on the video and leave us some notes. What do you like about this camper? Or perhaps, what would you prefer to see differently? Maybe we've got another option for you here at Halitz. And as always, remember, our family owned and operated facility would love the opportunity to work with you. And when you're ready, we're ready. We are not high pressure people. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halit camping, everyone. Between 43 and 4,400 pounds, Jake, wait a minute. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, I should take the lens cap off. I'm not sure, what do you guys think?